Good morning. You find me not on a train, but in a car. Today is Saturday the 4th of July and it is the first day that English Heritage have reopened some of their paid to enter sites. So I've booked my spot and I'm driving down to the wonderful Richborough Roman Fort. just arrived but we have to wait a few minutes because we've got a timed ticket so English Heritage are doing timed visits only at the moment uh, but I thought while we wait I'll get them a little Roman map of Britain so you can see where Richborough is. Now Richborough is one of the most significant Roman sites uh, in England because it was where the Romans first landed when they arrived in 43 AD and it would have been one of the last places that they would have left having uh, decided to leave Britain <laughs> and go go back to Rome. So there are over four centuries worth of archaeological finds on this site so it's an incredible site to visit. I'm very excited to have a walk around. <laughs> uh, so the remains that you see today largely belong to a fort which was built on the site around the end of the third century but before that Richmond would have been this bustling port town. It was the entry point to Britain from mainland Europe and as you entered the town there would have been a big triumphant archway which as you walked through you would have gone onto Watling Street which today is now <laughs> the main road, the road that we drove here in the car uh, to, to get to Richborough. Uh, the town was covered almost 52 acres and there was even an amphitheatre that could seat 5,000 spectators. Do you need anything from the shop, Jeff? Do you need anything from the shop? You do, what do you want? A cup of tea? Yeah. This is a, f a first century shop. I don't know if they have sugar yet though. Uh, a tea and a hot chocolate, please. Shop keep. How do you know it's the shop? <laughs> it says so in the book. So this is from the first century, so the concrete uh, remains on the ground have just been filled in I think to denote, uh, let you know where the shop was, that there's post holes, this would have been the front of the shop and then at the back would have been the sort of living quarters, storage areas, there was a little veranda outside as well. And like all Roman settlements there was of course a bathhouse with its trademark underfloor heating. Uh, so here we have um, on the outside of the main fort as it was, but this little lane that you can see behind me is Watling Street. So that's the start of the Roman road that would have taken uh, Roman legions <laughs> and regular Romans into the city of London. And so that has now become the main road that we drove in on uh, this morning. Originally an ancient trackway, the path of Watling Street was simply paved by the Romans shortly after their arrival in 43 AD. The roads stretch from Richborough and Dover, connecting key towns and settlements throughout Kent to London. Beyond London, the road continued through St Albans all the way to Roxeter, near Shrewsbury in Shropshire. So the big uh, mound, cross mound behind you would have been where the monumental 
arch was. This is really significant. Not many of these arches were actually built. It was a huge arch, sort of symbolising Roman's dominance over Britain. It's also the entrance into Britain from mainland Europe as well. It was called a quadrifron. I hope I've said that right, because it had four gates, four ways in and out of the arch itself. Uh, so you go south to north, which would take you onto Watling Street and further into the country, but you could also go east and west as well. So that's the explore of the main site done, but what we want to go and try and find is the amphitheatre, which is just down the road. perspective of it, it's best to kind of walk around in a circle to see how huge it would have been. Exciting discovery! <laughs> don't, don't put that in. if you're trying to sleep. 